loose thin, what you do, you'll just trim that off. Now what I like to do then at that point is take a sharp knife and being careful not to cut the cord. this knot right here, that's when you got to be careful not to cut the knot. Always go back and trim it up a little bit neater. Go. down longer if you want to or shorter. Now when this wears out, the only thing you'll have to do is just untie this, cut this off, order a new sponge from Steam Cannons, and we'll be glad to send you another one at a reasonable price. That should show you now how to install your sponge covers on your rammers. Hello, we just got through putting sponges on uh, in a way of wrapping twine or string around them. Now we're going to discuss putting sponges on in a more traditional way like they might have done during the Civil War. What we have here is a what they call a safety rammer. This safety rammer is designed so that if the can would discharge while you were ramming, your, your hand would open up so as not to tear your hand off. These, some states require these safety rammers to be made. So now we have the conventional head. This is for a 12 pound Napoleon. What we have down here are the sponges themselves. What we use is a simulated lamb's wool. This actually is fabric that we purchased that uh, from a saddle company. This is what you would see fleece type material that would be uh, attached to the bottom of a saddle. What makes it real nice about this is it's thick enough that you don't have to put any kind of a backing on the uh, original sponge head. These will fit over the original sponge head without any kind of backing. So we have our sponges, we have leather grommets, we have a punch, hammer, a little pair of uh, scissors, copper nails, these are actually number 14 and they're an inch and a quarter in length, a stapler and a block. So the first thing that we do is we'll move this rammer out of the way, set it right there for right now, and we're going to take this leather grommet, we're going to take our scissors right here and we're going to snip it one time. So it's like this. Then we're going to start to pre-drill or punch holes in this leather. There's not any particular set number of holes, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. 
keeping in mind that one of these days you'll be taking this off and inserting another new one on after this. I'm spacing them about a quarter of an inch apart. good you can see this but I have stopped short from taking it all the way around. Now I'll show you why later on but as you can see right there you can see about the spacing that I've done with the holes on this leather grommet. Now what we'll do we'll take our rammer we're going to now take our sponge and we're going to insert the sponge over the rammer head. I'm pulling it on good and tight. Now what I'm going to do is just simply staple this on just temporarily to hold it in place. So I'm just taking the staple gun and I'm going around the sponge head. Now that this is on, 